All right, y'all, it is Friday once again. Live day, facing Parker Nolan, Cole Messina, Gavin Cassis, Ethan Petri, and a new transfer who transferred from Florida State, Jordan Carrion. So yeah, we got big lineup today. Gonna have to be locked in, ready to go. I'm pretty locked in today. Yeah, keep a brief intro. About to get ready to start throwing, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all on the bump. Today is bullpen day. Heading out there right now. It's finally a little bit warmer today. Um, it's a little more humid today, which is good. Not as cold and dry. So ideal throwing conditions. So looking forward to this pen. Got a lot to work on. Lives on Friday didn't go exactly as planned. Um, just didn't really have everything. And mechanics were just all messed up because I had been focused on too much this week mechanic wise so we're just kind of scrapping the mechanical idea and just focusing on keeping good tempo and throwing strikes yeah gonna get the cleats on and head out there It's on you. You said you want to be in it. What do you got? Hey, Dean Talk is the day. Going today, baby. Red team on top. Shovey Dub day. That's all I got to say. Garnet. First Garnet. scrimmage. Garnet on top. Garnet, Garnet on top. top. Hey, first scrimmage of the 2024 season? Yes. It's officially 2024. 2024, baby. We got Jonesy on the bump. It's Jonesy. our year. Big Jonesy it's on the bump. It's our year. Our year, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, all sir. day. Yes, sir. Talk to me nice. Yes, sir. Talk Big to me. Big five out there. Me, baby. 2024 season. It's here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> y'all the first scrimmage was definitely a success uh you know pitchers threw really well hitters had good at bats um you know it was it was a really good scrimmage for the first one of the 2024 year heading into the season i'm going to be throwing tomorrow i'm super pumped obviously coming off not one of my best outings um that's probably the worst outing i've had since i've been rehabbing from tommy john um but you know it definitely was a hard experience for me because i really haven't 
had to face any adversity throughout this process really because you know most of it is just rehab and, and throwing and you're pretty much just competing against yourself but you know when you're competing against somebody else the stakes get a little bit higher so it was definitely tough i was working on a lot of stuff this week that wasn't really mechanically related and have kind of just moved away from the mechanically related side of things uh this past week and you know just kind of getting into the 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 rhythm and you know having good tempo and just being myself out there and not worrying about you know the mechanical things that I was working on throughout the week or whatever it may be and just you know going out there and competing and I feel like I kind of got away from that a little bit this this past Friday in my last outing and uh, the results obviously showed you know um, just really couldn't throw anything in the strike zone which obviously isn't really like me you know when I'm on and um, last fall before I got hurt I was you know all around the zone all fall and you know I've been around the zone pretty much in every outing that I've thrown since you know having surgery so definitely a little bit of a different experience for me because I really haven't had to experience that in a really long time so being able to bounce back from that this upcoming weekend well tomorrow but um, is, is going to be crucial because you know um, it's it's going to be like that during the season I'm going to have outings where you know I'm, I'm not going to feel 100% or be 100% or have the the you know the best results that I could possibly get so being able to handle that adversity right now and in the setting that it was in against just you know live hitters and instead of a scrimmage setting or a game setting is is super important so you know just to have that under my belt I think is is really you know good I mean obviously I didn't want to struggle out there but Having that experience heading into scrimmages and then also heading into the season, I think will be really helpful for me. And, you know, like this past week, I just kind of worked on, you know, some old stuff that I used to do, went back to basics and just, you know, worked on tempo and some of the old drills that I would do just to kind of keep my body in sync and not get too ahead of myself. And, you know, just take it one pitch at a time too. Um, I feel like the other day I was just kind of too worried about outside things like I said earlier so worrying about the things that I can control is is the most important thing so I'm super excited for tomorrow it's going to be my first scrimmage in 463 days first scrimmage since I tore my UCL on October 21st of 2022 so it's a big milestone I'm super excited uh, it's been a long time coming I thank all y'all for the constant support over the last about year and a half so you know it's it's exciting a little nerve-wracking for sure I'm, I'm a little nervous for tomorrow because you know I haven't really thrown in like a I guess quote-unquote game setting yet since this surgery so I'm super pumped up today was a, a blast just to be able to get back out there and you know play a so-called game I guess you could say because it wasn't really a full game, just a scrimmage. It's it's going to be a blast tomorrow. I'm super excited. Just going to go out there and compete and, you know, have fun because at the end of the day, we're just playing a game. So that's going to be it for this video, though, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you subscribe. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that little bell down below so y'all can get notified every single time I upload new content. But yeah, y'all, that's going to be it for this week. Super pumped for y'all to see my outing next week. First scrimmage in 463 days. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. Can't thank all of y'all enough for the support over the last year and a half again. And yeah, guys, that's it for this one, and I will see y'all next Monday. Peace out, y'all.